Yo YouTube, what is going on guys? Uh, Kicks and Caffeine back again for another video. Another unboxing. Uh, it's been a while now. I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, but <coughs> I've just been on holiday. Um, just got back yesterday. So I'm going to quickly take you through a couple of the uh, recent purchases that I have. Um, don't know if you saw me take these out of my ears. I'm not going to do a video on these, but the Apple ear, uh, AirPods, these are fucking sick guys, sick. Just picked these up this morning, these were delivered to my nans, I've just been around, uh, picked these up, I'm testing them out for the past, uh, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. Amazing. Um, but that's not what I'm here for today. <coughs> uh, I'm going to get straight into this unboxing. Picked these up a couple, uh, a couple of weeks back. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, if anybody follows me on the Instagram at uh, kicks underscore and underscore caffeine with a K, uh, you will have seen pictures of these on my feet already and you will know that my my vacation that I've just got back from was actually to Slovenia, to a mountain snowboarding. Um, and as such, I needed a pair of shoes for, for you know to wear while I was over there when I didn't have my snowboard boots on. Uh, so quite fittingly, these released just before I went, and I managed to pick a pair up. So yeah, it's the Adidas uh, White Mountaineering NMD Trail Prime Knit. Had uh, had my reservations about this pair. Uh, obviously, White Mountaineering is a Japanese uh, company that specialise in obviously mountaineering products. But with them collaborating with Adidas on the prime knit pair of NMDs, I wasn't I wasn't sure if it was going to be an NMD with White Mountaineering branding just for the namesake, or whether it was actually going to be a pair of NMDs that could hold themselves on a mountain. Um, but I went ahead and purchased them uh, just in case. Um, obviously, these have been worn. Um, here's the first. Uh, first shoe and here's the second shoe uh, tore the box paper a little bit uh, the tags are in the bottom of the box here obviously I've removed those already um, yeah I wanted to see if this this pair of shoes that I was obviously being sold as a pair of white mountaineering whether or not they could actually hold themselves on a mountain or not so I bought them uh, I've worn the shit out of them all week. I've been away for a, I've been on a mountain for a full week. Um, when I've not had my snowboard boots on, I've had these on, and this is how they've come back. Now, <coughs> for anybody that's not seen the shoe itself, here's the shoe. They released these in two different colorways: the red, blue, white, and they did a black and white pair as well. I preferred the red, blue, and white. The color breaks it up a little bit. Um, it is a prime knit shoe. There's no prime. There's no sock collar like a, a normal uh, prime knit NMD, but it is prime knit. Um, same prime knit that's on the OG NMD um, pairs as well, to be precise. But obviously, what we've got here, we've got the white heel, uh, blue to the midsection, and then we've got the red prime knit to the toe box, and then obviously this uh, blue ATR uh, tape around the toe box. A uh, bit of weather resistance. I'm not sure if when these came from the factory, uh, they were waterproof. Uh, you know, I'm assuming that when people go on mountains, sometimes there's snow, it's cold, and you would assume that they would have been waterproof, but uh, it doesn't say anything about it. I didn't read anything about it, so I went ahead and I, uh, I used Sneakers ER uh, Protector to waterproof the, all the exposed primate areas. Um, to keep my feet uh, dry while I was out there. It worked. I mean the shoes have come back a little bit dirty but they they didn't, my feet stayed dry the entire time I was there. Um, but you'll see here we've got three white stripes on the side and you'll see that there's uh, sort of like um, navy um, tape stripes in between. W M, white mountaineering, and then obviously the, the three white Adidas um, stripes. 
it's a pretty it's a really cool design they've done there so I'll show you again W M white mountaineering it's pretty cool eh does that on all sides as well obviously depending on which side you look at it it doesn't always make sense but um, but yeah it's pretty cool how they've done it so anyway um, the prime knit felt like any other prime knit on foot while I was out there the fact that it had been protected with the sneakers ER protector kept it uh, uh, kept them waterproof stopped the moisture getting in kept my feet nice and dry while I was wearing them the biggest problem that I found even though I'd used the protector and they were waterproof, they weren't windproof and it's really, really, really fucking windy on a mountain. Um, so my feet were hella cold. Not all the time, not all the time. Some days it's really nice and it's clear and there wasn't a lot of wind. But on those windy days, with these on foot, my feet felt it. Um, I've just noticed actually. Um, I've really, really took some chunks out of this. A little bit too soft, I guess. Whatever I've scraped it on there is uh, took a couple of chunks from it. Um, not to worry. That's what I bought them for. I bought them to take to a mountain, so uh, I was fully, fully prepared to get them completely wrecked up. But uh, I mean, they've come back in good condition. They, 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 you know, they are a decent pair. They, they did. Yeah, you know, straight to the point, they, they did hold up against the mountain pretty well. Um, better than my expectations, to be fair, but uh, we've got obviously this white lace bars, these white laces, which is a really annoying thing on these. They seem to be a lot longer than normal NMDs, so normally I tie my laces and just let them hang as normal. Uh, with these, I've had to tuck the actual loops behind the uh, laces themselves and keep them looking like this. It looks a bit shit, to be fair. Um, but with them hanging, they literally hang to the point where you can near enough walk on them, so um, yeah, I didn't want that. But we've got these EVA inserts like the NMD R1, so we've got the red, it's red all around. We've got the one on the inside here to the heel, uh, outside heel, outside tail. Uh, Adidas branding on the front EVA um, plug. Scraped up, like I said. Uh, to the tongue, we have this uh, Adidas White Mountaineering um, badge sewn in. To the heel, we've got this uh, heel cage, which obviously on a standard pair of NMDs, this is made of rubber and it's got the trefoil badge on. Doesn't hear, it's just uh, it's almost like a suede. It's not the best suede, but in the world, but it's almost like a suede um, heel cage. We've got the uh, the heel pull tab running all the way up behind with white mountaineering um, embossed onto it and then we've got this little uh, white triangle with the trefoil badge on here which lifts up but that's obviously the white mountaineering badge and then the uh, adidas trefoil um, white full boost um, midsole and then the outsole which is obviously the trail part so we've got this uh, navy blue uh, outsole red to the inside hit here see if we can get some focus so we've got the adidas and the brand with the three stripes etc here and this is quite thick this uh, this patch here the, the the tread and then obviously we've got the trail tread which has got all these uh, jagged grooves to it um, did these hold up in Slovenia they did to a degree uh, except for the very last day I walked out of the house uh, it was really icy outside I put my foot down and literally as soon as I stepped out and stepped on I slid straight onto my arse and pretty much slid from the front door of the house to the <laughs> to the door of the van um, hit my back as well it's quite quite painful um, so yeah the, these I can see how it'd be a good trail sole for like in the dirt and things, but um, it wasn't the best sole for the snow and the ice. But it, it did hold up really well. I only fell over once. Uh, that was the only time I lost grip and things. So they did. They did all right. Um, really good looking pair of shoes. Not the sort of shoe that you'd wear in every day for everyday wear. Um, you know, but on a mountain. 
white mountaineering, fit for purpose, definitely. Um, these are probably just going to go back in the box now though uh, and sit in the box until my next uh, snow vacation which I don't have any plan now until 2018 so it's going to be these are going to be sitting there for a while um, you can just see there on the back of the heel on the white they're really dirty so the, the dirt has got on them obviously uh, but the, the moisture didn't get through but but yeah so I'll leave it at that, I'll keep this one nice and short um, that is my review of it's my actual review my worn and tested on a mountain review of whether or not the NMD White Mountaineering R1 Trail it's not R1 Trail it's just called Trail uh, yeah just White Mountaineering NMD Trail Prime um, on whether or not they were actually made for the mountain or if it was just the namesake and they did help you know my opinion is 7 out of 10, they did hold up well on the mountain. Do recommend them to anyone. Great pair of shoes. Thanks for watching, guys, as always. <coughs> hit the uh, like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more. Peace.